Welcome to our channel, and uh, we're back on the tugboat. And we've got uh, some things painted. We got all of our electronics installed and uh, wired up. We've got sound card wired up in the hall. So we got a lot of work done. Um, we got, uh, as you can see here, all of our LEDs put in for the lower cabin. We've got our uh, positive side wired up, and we got all the resistors on our negative side wired up. And that looks uh, pretty good. I, I started, I was going to just use two. I didn't like the way two looked, I went back to three. So, uh, we've got those in there. Uh, we've got the light for the bridge installed in there. Uh, and then we also have it painted white uh, inside and out. I have to do a little touch up here. We got some overspray up here we'll have to touch up. Got the cabin painted white. I still got the masking tape on the roof, but uh, we got that all painted white inside and out. And then we got the sound card uh, mounted and wired uh, into the hall. And it comes out through the bottom right there. We'll use a piece of shrink tubing to hide the wires uh, going down into the base. So we've got that um, got that done. And uh, yeah, that's uh, really no issues. Um, I can show you what it looks like. Uh, the cabin I lit up kind of see how it'll look. Um, the only thing I had to do is I had to strain the paint when I painted this because for some reason this Americana white has a lot of crap in it. I noticed when I mixed my first batch up it's like Ooh, that's got a lot of crap in it more than usual. So I had to strain the white paint uh, to get all of that crap out. Seems like craft acrylics, especially the white, has a lot of crap in it. Don't know why. But uh, anyway, we'll talk about that here in a second. But there it is, lit up. All the little port windows. Um, so I think it looks pretty, uh, as you see here, spiffy. So that's that. Uh, here is the um, strained paint. Uh, we painted everything. Uh, I just use regular paint filters, uh, paint strainers I should say, that you get for automotive use. I don't know what these are. These are, I don't remember, 100 I think. Uh, they're, they're a fine filter. Uh, I think it, there, there's a, a fine, like a very fine, a fine, and uh, I don't can't remember what the, all the different uh, types are, but uh, anyway, this is, was good enough for, uh, for the craft acrylic paint. Uh, anyway, we just, uh, I mixed it up and then I just poured it through this, into this, and then now we got a nice uh, strained jar of paint. I got rid of all the crap that was in that white. It was Americana white, this is what I used. Had a lot of crap in it for some reason, more than usual. Maybe I got a bad bottle, I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, we got it all taken care of. <coughs> and we didn't have any issues spraying it. Got rid of all the crap. So what we have to do now is, um, uh, oh, we also got the light installed in there for the bridge too. Got that installed with the resistor on it. Uh, so all we got to do now is just do some touch-ups. We got to seal the white paint here on the cabin and on the bridge. I'll probably use uh, the uh, a gloss, the uh, Krylon gloss, uh, clear acrylic, because uh, it's actually a semi-gloss, and uh, we seal all that up. And um, that's really about it. Got all the doors on it. The doors that was a pain in the ass because these doors they don't have a whole lot of detail on them 
and the injector pin marks were on the outside. Uh, so, and they were pretty bad, pretty severe. Ah, excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, yeah, they were really severe. And some doors you can see where the center of the door is a, has a low spot, but I had to file it down that far to get rid of the uh, injector pin marks. They were so deep. Of course, I couldn't put them on the inside of the door. They had to put them on the outside of the door. But it's just going to have to be that way. Uh, it is what it is. I guess I could have gone back and tried to fill it, but uh, I didn't want to lose any of the door detail because it doesn't have a whole lot on it to begin with. I didn't want to lose any of it. Uh, so, um, so if you get this kit, be aware of those doors are going to have some serious injector pin marks. Um, what else? Uh, also, uh, as far as uh, the resistors here, uh, sometimes I get asked from viewers, doesn't matter which side the resistors are on as far as the LED and it's like no it doesn't they really don't matter you can put them all on the positive side you can put them all on a negative side I always use the negative side myself but it really doesn't matter which side you put the resistors on the reason why I use the negative side is because if I remember correctly and I could be wrong uh, your electrons flow from uh, negative to positive, so I just always put them on the resistors on the negative side of my LEDs, but they really don't matter, I guess. You can put them on whichever side you want. And so we got our uh, resistor up here, too, uh, for the bridge. It's just painted white, but uh, it's on there. And then also, too, sometimes I get asked... Uh, kind of just put a resistor coming off the battery supply to run all of the uh, LEDs and, and yeah you can if you want uh, I wouldn't but uh, you can I guess the reason why you should put an LED on or an LED a resistor on each LED is because not all LEDs are created equal and if you just run one resistor to drive all your LEDs uh, you, you could end up with some LEDs brighter than others. Uh, you know, it's best just to put a resistor on each LED. That way you have nice even lighting throughout your model. You don't have to worry about it. So I guess the answer is no, you really shouldn't. You should put your resistors on each LED. Um, I think that's all I got for this segment. Uh, well, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Didn't think I was, yeah, we're up to eight minutes, so. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, now I just need to go back and do some touch-ups. Uh, put our trim on here. And then we can uh, put our windows in. Then we can finally mount this on the deck, mount the deck on the hull, run all of our wiring out the bottom. And then we can start putting stuff like the railings and all the little details on it and uh, the winch and all that other stuff, so. Yeah, that's where we're at on the tugboat. Pretty cool. Okay, uh, that's it. Take care. We'll see you in our next video.